This is Vaughn with Open Source Automation and I'm going to show you how to create an object and some of the things you can do with it. In this case a virtual object. We'll call it a TV and its type is a thing which is one of the object types managed by the system. Step two would be to add a state image showing us you know an image that represents the state that the TV is in. So go down here and on image and an off image because we can't dim our television. Okay. Now the third step will be to move these images into place. So we'll just drag that over there and try to get it pretty close for the demo. And now we want to get back out of edit mode so we can toggle the state and set its image in place. Close enough. Now that we have our images in place, get out of edit mode and we can see that the system is handling turning it on and off. Next I'll show you some of the logic that we can do with this and we will go and add a name script. Our name scripts will be TV on and TV off. Okay, now if you're t talking to the system with voice recognition or chatting with it with Gtalk, we want to add some English phrases here that will trigger this script. So obviously TV on and we'll also add television on. And we'll do the same for television off so we can issue commands to it. Okay, now that we have the scripts, we need to tell it to do something, so we'll edit the script for TV on. Now, when I say TV on, I want it to actually tell the television to run a method, and that method is on. Okay, so we have our TV on, and we'll do our TV off. Same thing, TV run method off. Okay, now there's two other... Uh, scripts relevant here and they're event scripts that say what do, what do we do when the TV does turn on and off. So we'll say when the TV is turned on I want the speech client to run a method called say TV is now on. Save a little typing. Add that script. Do the same for off. Add that script. Now we'll see how that's working. We'll go back to our main GUI. TV does not off. TV does not on. Okay. And we can see in the tooltip here it tells us how long it's on. But let's say we want to put some timers on the screen to go along with this. So we'll say add another control and we're going to add a timer label. And this is for the television and we want to know how long it's been in its current state. So we'll add that timer. We go to edit mode. We can drag that over somewhere relevant and now we will add another timer label. And this one's called an off timer. And this will tell us when the TV is going to automatically turn off. You see that's set to zero. We're already in edit mode put that under the TV. So we want to set this off timer now so we'll go into objects. Hopefully I'll edit that from the main screen soon. We see the TV and there's an off timer property. So we're going to tell it to turn off in 10 seconds. That's not practical but for this demo it is. Um, get out of edit mode so I can toggle the TV mm -hmm. off. So, and we can see if we turn the TV on It'll start to counter, and TV should turn back off when that counter hits zero. TV is off. And that's your two timers. The only thing left is voice recognition. Computer. TV on. 
TV is not on. TV off. TV is not on. And there's voice recognition. Hope the demo is helpful.